Pomsky for sale, guys. Pomsky, because he's needy. Pomsky? Anybody? No? Pomsky stands for Pomeranian Husky. He's adorable. He's needy, but he's adorable. And I guess he wants to do this episode with me. So, roll intro! Roll the intro! This is great. Birdie reminds me I don't need anything else other than him. Okay. Birdie the Pomsky, everyone. Birdie the Pomsky, you know, follow him at Birdie the Pomsky on Instagram. You have anything to say? You have, you have anything you want to contribute to this? Do you? Hello? Birdie. Yeah? Other than kisses? Okay. What's going on guys, Joe Torres here, and I'm here to give you the top five minimalist gift ideas for the entrepreneur slash you should really get me something slash freelancer in your life. It's beginning to cost a lot like Christmas, and if you are a procrastinator or you just don't know what to get your friend who is an entrepreneur um, or freelancer, here are my top five gift ideas. Uh, coming in at number one is going to be Amazon Visa gift cards slash cash donations. Cash at me. My cash app's right here. I'll be waiting. I'm getting no dings. Still waiting. Cash app. Party says to cash app it. So you can buy more treats. Do it for me. So I can buy treats. Wow, Brody. Thanks. This is not about you. This is about other people. Thanks. All right, you may not know what exactly your friend may want. You know that this, they have their own business, but you're not quite sure what to get them. Giving them a gift card to Amazon or a Visa gift card or simply donating uh, some type of cash flow is one, a great write-off for them as they purchase uh, products for their that they need so someone like me I'm a photographer and videographer so my stuff is pretty expensive and I wouldn't ask anybody to actually get me that stuff I mean if you've got deep pockets and you want to hook me up cash at me. no seriously sometimes are you know depending on the business things can be very expensive however if you give them a gift card or donate to them then at least they can buy it on their own terms you know we don't have to run up that credit card debt as it is because starting off as an entrepreneur you really don't have a lot of money that's number one. Coming in at number two is going to be self-development. So as entrepreneurs, we're always constantly willing to learn, at least I hope you are. Something I know I would love and some of my friends who are entrepreneurs would love is self-development workshops or programs. A few that I can name off the top of my head, one of them being Skillshare. Skillshare, hundreds of thousands of videos on entrepreneurship, photography, YouTube, almost anything you can think of, they've got it. Um, and it comes at a very low price point of like $15 a month. So you can actually go ahead and potentially get them maybe a month, three months, a year. Links for that will be in the description below. Another one that is a big one for my female entrepreneurs out there is Boss Babe product, whether it be the planner, self-development program from them. And then another one that I think of that I've gifted a friend before myself and I have used is called Masterclass. So Masterclass is pretty much kind of like Skillshare except a little bit more expensive. It's about, I think, $100 per course, uh, but you do get a full-fledged course, some, some PDFs, and you've got people like Jeff Ramsey, Martin Scorsese, Ron Howard. The Masterclass is awesome, is an awesome gift because, you know, you're getting something for your friend who's an entrepreneur slash business owner in their field. So it's something that basically, you know, whereas it might cost $100,000 to be with this person or thousands of dollars to actually see and sit down with this person, they get a full course with them. So whether it be filmmaking, uh, cooking, writing, again, almost anything that you can think of, you can name it. Again, links for that will be in the description below. Uh, coming in at number three is actual support for your friend slash family member. And what I mean by this is, yeah, either a donation or, you know, actually buy their products, you know, just as a show to sign that you are supporting them. If your friend sells t-shirts, buy some t-shirts. Maybe it's not for you. Maybe you, you personally can't resonate with the brand, but you know, you have a couple of friends who might. So purchase a few t-shirts for those friends. Those friends are gonna probably love it. And then now you're, you're not only supporting your friend, but you're also creating uh, what, what I would call the brand army. 
So what that means is that your people are wearing your friend's brand, kind of like how people wear Nike. That is a walking billboard for that company, for your friend's company. So if your friend sells hats, sweaters, t-shirts, you know, whatever it is, go ahead and show them some support. And as you should know that, you know, entrepreneurs, we need a lot of support. Um, you know, this road is not easy and shameless plug here, in case you haven't already seen that video, there's a series I started called Artists Don't Starve and episode one is called Balls and Support. You should probably check that out. Thanks. Coming in at number four is a photo session. Kind of anybody can actually benefit from this, but especially business owners. Um, you know, whether they need headshots, maybe they need product photography, you know, you're looking at spending 250 to 700 bucks, which is, which 250 is actually a reasonable price. You know, they, they have something that they can use for months to a year on end. Number five is something that I know I would appreciate, all my female entrepreneur friends would appreciate, you'd probably appreciate, my, your mother would appreciate it. And that is a self-care package. And what I mean by that is whether you make one yourself or you actually go ahead and get a gift certificate for a massage, maybe you pay to get their nails done, guys, you too, their hair done, guys, you too, yes, we can all use haircuts, you know. Because as entrepreneurs, we get so absorbed in our business and yes, a lot of the time, you know, we may work from home or for coffee shops, especially in the winter time, we're covered up in sweat, tend to forget, neglect ourselves, Give, giving the gift of self-care is something that would be more than greatly appreciated. I want to give a bonus gift idea. This one I think gets taken for granted a lot. You know, as an entrepreneur, things are already hard enough. Whether that be money, your living situation, your business, whatever it may be. And the number one thing as a friend or family member you can do, um, and I think this is probably the number one gift other than the Amazon gift card and shouting out your friend's business and sharing their posts. Actually paying for something that they need in their life. Maybe you contribute to their phone bill, their internet bill, you buy them groceries for the week, or even you get their laundry service. Again, things can be hard. You don't always know your friend's situation. In terms of a small business owner, someone who's just starting out, these things I think are super essential. And I know some, a lot of my friends, even me, would appreciate if someone did that for me. I'd probably cry. I think as an entrepreneur, you're never gonna tell your friend or family member, hey, you wanna buy me groceries? Like, it's it's kind of like second thought. You know, you may live off peanut butter and jelly and, ra and ramen. But no, seriously, paying for groceries for the week can s tremendously open up some free time for your friend or family. Uh, paying that phone bill, so that's something that they don't have to worry about, their internet bill, making sure, you know, if they, especially if they run an e-commerce site uh, or their stuff is from YouTube or whatever, that, you know, their internet bill is paid, you don't, they don't have to worry about that for a month. And if you got some seriously deep pockets and some big luck for your friend, I dare you to pay their rent for the month. I'm pretty sure they may owe you for life. You love me, you really love me. You know, I think that'd be, an awesome and amazing gift. Things I've listed are not necessarily materialistic things. They are things that will help somebody develop. They're things that help their business grow. There's things that they'll appreciate, things that actually will help them and experiences. All right, guys, so those are my holiday gift ideas for the entrepreneur friends in your life. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope everyone has a happy holiday. If you'd enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe for more future content like this or like my Artists Don't Starve series, which I have linked above. Also, I'd appreciate if you shared this video with anyone you think could benefit from it. And also comment down below uh, any other gift ideas you think entrepreneurs or freelancers would benefit from. All right, guys, see you in the next one. I'm out.